Hey everyone, I'm here today to talk a bit, little bit about raising healthy youth athletes. And I'm not here to necessarily talk about one sport specialization or the need for seasons or other things like that. I'm here to talk about raising healthy youth athletes um, in regards to bone growth. So what a lot of people don't understand or don't know is that a lot of bony growth occurs in the two years surrounding puberty, okay? Um, so that means our kids really grow a lot of their structure at a young age. In girls, puberty can start as early as nine and in boys, 10 years old. For girls, the period of time is a little bit shorter um, in regards to most puberty occurs from nine to 14. In males, we look at it a little bit longer of a spectrum and it's 10 to 17. So think about that. If our kids are growing bone that early, how do we set them up for success? Obviously, we know about these bone kind of conditions that occur later in life, such as osteoporosis. If we help our kids grow bone early, can we help prevent those over time? The other thing I think is uh, that should be of concern is that we see more and more adolescent athletes as well as adult athletes um, and even teenage, okay, those young, young youth athletes coming into our clinic with these bony stress injuries otherwise known as a stress fracture. And stress fractures can come from numerous different things. However, if we help set our children up for success in the early stages okay, of their bone accrual, do you think that could help? I sure do. So how do we get bone growth to be at its peak during these times? Children need unpredictable and variable loading to their structures, okay, to their bones. Our muscles pull on bones as they move. And that's an important part of bone deposition. We need that tug, okay, that little bit of a pull to kind of say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna put more bone in this area. So overall, the kids should be running, they should be jumping, they should be pivoting, they should be cutting, and they should be doing sports involving all of these things. Non-weight-bearing sports have actually shown to be a little bit detrimental when it comes to bone growth and bone health in this early stage. We've seen that in kind of these young collegiate runners, okay, that they don't have as much bone mineral density as athletes who have been playing soccer or ball sports, okay? Soccer, ball sports, and of course I say soccer because that was my sport of choice and my preference when I was younger. Ball sports have actually shown to decrease the risk for bony stress injury by half as kids age. So think about that. If your child is only a swimmer, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of bony stress injuries in swimmers who then decide at the end of their careers that they want to go become a runner. And that could be mainly because they didn't have as well of an upbringing in that bone health category. Really, getting your kids out and moving from the ages, okay, in the prepubescent years, so the time right before they hit puberty, in throughout puberty, is of utmost importance. And I want you guys to really think about that. This message is really to parents to get your kids out moving to make sure that we can kind of give them this kind of great outlook for bone health throughout life. Now, if you are suffering from a stress fracture, if somebody you know has, whether it be a young child, adult, there are other reasons why stress fractures can happen. And obviously this can go into training. It can go into kind of lack of nutrition or improper nutrition. It can go into things such as females losing their, losing their menstrual cycle. And I've talked to so many people about that in regards to kind of females and losing their menstrual cycle. When it used to be this kind of thought that, oh, an elite athlete should you shouldn't lose your menstrual cycle. And I've done some talking about that before. So if you have more questions on that, give me a shout. It's something I'll probably bring up a little bit more in the upcoming weeks. Um, if you guys have questions about this, feel free to reach out. Really my big message here is that it's important to set our kids up for success. It's important to get kids out and moving a little bit earlier than some people think. Uh, get them off the couch. If they are playing video games, make them do an interactive video game. Do something moving, okay? Jumping, weightlifting, moving, ball sports. Yes, there may be a little bit of a risk for more of a traumatic injury. However, it's gonna be better for overall bone health as kids age. All right, guys, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know, um, and I'll be back with another topic in a few weeks.